Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Jigsaw block in Java Edition. Now, I've done this video plenty of times before, but I wanted to just do a new updated version to help you guys out. And unfortunately, this does not work on Bedrock. Don't get me wrong, you can actually give it to yourself. It just for some reason does not work on Bedrock Edition. Let's get straight into the Jigsaw block. So the Jigsaw block is a block that looks like this. It's kind of purpley and it has a picture of a jigsaw and a few arrows on the top. And what you can do to get it is do slash give at s jigsaw and hit enter. And you'll notice it's updated to two, but I have given myself a second jigsaw block. I'm going to quickly head over to a super flat world to show you just how easy and cool these are. Okay, so now that I'm on a super flat world, I'm going to show you how its generation works. And one of the coolest things you can generate with it is a village. So let's get straight into that. Okay, so once you place a jigsaw block, you are greeted with a whole bunch of empty fields. Do not worry, this is super simple and straightforward once you get hang of it. So because I'm going to build a village with all of its roads and streets, I'm going to simply do the street structure. So in the top target pool section, what we want to do is we want to type in village. And treat this almost like a file explorer. We want to go inside the villager folder and then go into the planes. Now you can change this to whatever. You can change it to spruce, taiga, uh, all of the other biomes. I'm just going to simply do planes because that's the simplest. And then do streets. Now if you want to do houses, you can simply remove the streets section and replace it with houses. But as I said before, I'm doing streets. And now let's move on to the next part, which is name, target pool, and turns into. So we're going to keep turns into as air right now because we, we just don't want it to turn into anything else, the jigsaw block. And for the name, we want to simply type in street. And for target name, we also want to type in street. And we are done. So now once we've done this, you can see we have a whole bunch of little buttons at the bottom like rollable, levels, keep jigsaw, generate. This levels is also really cool. So if you want a smaller village with lots of littler roads, you would choose something between level one to level two. But if you want a massive, massive village, you would do a level seven. So let's do a level seven uh, and hit generate. And wow, okay. So you can see that the jigsaw blocks actually generated a whole bunch of paths. Um, and you'll notice there are a whole ton of jigsaw blocks everywhere and trust me that is completely okay so you'll notice that there's lots of these blocks that point sideways um you also have these ones in the floor as well and these are simply decorations and houses and you can see this by clicking on here and you can see that it's got its target pool as houses building entrance etc and if we actually wanted to go ahead and generate that house all we have to do is simply select a level and hit generate and you'll notice that it actually generates a house um, this one did it in the wrong direction, which is a bit weird, but yeah, you can see it's generated a house. Oh my gosh, I've made a mess. Now, if you do want to generate a house with your jigsaw blocks, do not worry. You can simply just place a block and type this in. So if you copy this identically in, making sure that the arrow is pointing somewhere, you can't point upwards or downwards, but making sure it's pointing, you know, sideways with this in it, you can actually generate a house. So I'll go level seven generate and you can see that we have generated a huge villager house and it's actually functional it's got all of its usual stuff inside i've honestly never seen this house before and it's kind of useless the fact that there's no like second story layer now that's about it for the video if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and join team cap we've just hit 10k and i just want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed Thank you so much for being along with the journey with me. And hopefully, you know, if you're new, you can join and, you know, help hit 20k or if we get somewhere there in the future. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.